Good evening, everyone. What's up? Hello. Very excited for today. I wasn't planning to cover this game, but uh, hey, the devs were nice enough to send me a code. And uh, I mean, I love Star Fox, even though I've never properly streamed it. It's a great game. Uh, I believe this takes place, uh, well, well, not takes place, but is more inspired by the original Star Fox. So Star Fox 1, maybe there's a bit of Star Fox 2 in there. I'm excited for this, though. This uh, looks like exactly my kind of jam. It's not enough for me to really cover for a full stream. It's not even out yet. Um, the early access starts on July 21st for this game. You should wishlist it right now. That's me saying that because it's a really good game. So do yourself a favor and uh, yeah, find this on Steam and go wishlist it. Uh, there are a few stages at the moment. Apparently uh, when it goes into proper early access, there's going to be like six of them or something. And all the stages should be out by the 23rd or the 24th. Or, or 2023 or 2024. I don't know why I said it like that. Then sing a new sensation. Grab nation. Doing a freak. Call now 1-900-490-FRAKE and from New York to LA. Call now 1-900-490-FRAKE. Thanks for that tier 2 sub, man. How you doing? Let's see who we got here. We got Jet, Tar6, Alex. It's the Star Fox bar. Yes, it is. Yeah, um... Turns out, like I said, the devs were nice enough to send me a key. Really cool, though. Sting Moon, good to see you. Jake, nice version. It is a nice version. I did notice that upon loading it up. Goemon. Intrapelli. Redford Burger. Aomek. Joshua. Arcade. Adamant. Witcher Andrew. Blue Bomber. So the plan is we're going to cover this. Uh, it shouldn't be long because there's not that many stages. So it'll be a good quick look and then we'll jump into the FMV. And my favorite thing lately, uh, you've heard me talk about this. The new indie look shouldn't really be pixel. I, I kind of feel like everyone can do pixel art and everyone's kind of done it and there's a lot of different ways to do pixel art, but I miss that early 3D polygonal aesthetic like this, or uh, Mega Man Legends is a great example too. They're a little bit different, but it's time we start doing low poly 3D as like the main look for more games. Media, good to see you. Henry. You just wish listed the game? Yeah. I've known about this for a while, and I think there was a Kickstarter for this, and I didn't have time to back it. Low poly juker? Uh, maybe. Give me a check, what's up? Are you excited for the nice version? I take it, it'll, it'll probably take like an hour or something for us to get through all the levels. But I'm excited for this. I would definitely stream this in full when it, uh, you know, every level gets finished. HD, 2D, or 3D now. Come on. I feel it. Nelson, what's up? Golden. Untextured polygons. It's got such a nice look. Yo, Johnny Long Torso, what's up? You know what? Uh, can we get a poll in chat? What's your favorite uh, retro look for a game? We'll have it be like max time just for people coming in. Uh, if it's like, you know, just like pixels, like, a, you know, usual 2D art, you know, like low poly, untextured, low poly but textured. I guess HD 2D is also a thing now. Kind of curious what people think. But I think this game, from what I have seen, mastered the untextured art of low poly. And we're going to see that in a moment. Once we're done with this, we're going to do some FMV games. It's going to be dumb. How's the volume? Let's check out the options. Oh, look at this option screen. HD 
Invert disabled. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't like vibration personally. Face left button. Look at this game. Being smart. Let's do this. Press left or right to se select a mission. Okay. I think it's the only one we can do at the moment, so... The forests of Alora are under attack! Find out who's responsible and put an end to the destruction before it's too late. Good luck! Oh, I love this. Yo, already this is incredible. Look at this. This kind of reminds me aesthetically of uh, Space Harrier with the like checkered flooring. It's a little hard to read the dialogue, unfortunately. Mostly just because I'm focused on playing, but I'm sure you guys can read it. Star Fox and Space Harrier? Yeah, I can see it. It's more Star Fox, but, uh, you know, that's not a bad thing. Star Harrier. Oh man, it's even got the Star Fox checkpoints. Laser or repair? Uh, laser? Also, because everyone's gonna ask, here you go. There's your barrel roll. You get one. Everyone gets one. I really want to read what they're saying, but it's so easy for me to just focus on the game and avoid that. God, the effect when you boost is fantastic. I'm loving that. What if Star Fox was on the 32X? I'm fine with that. I ain't got no problem with that. I like how pink the game is too. It's very vapor wavy. Aw, oh, this sounds like a Turtles game. Do you want to cut down like the trees? Or you get cut down to be my guest. I love the way this thing moves. It feels like something with an intentionally lower frame rate. Okay, so those home in on me. That's not good. It's gonna be a little bit easier to hit now.
This isn't over yet. You'll never stop Zodiac. When I'm done with him, he'll be X Zodiac. Pedal drop. Zodiac Killer. So yeah, there's supposed to be, I think, 13 levels in the game, and that's how many there are at the moment. So, I'm not trying to get the best rank. Ignice. How fitting, this is version 6.9. Unusually high levels of seismic activity have been detected on the planet's surface. We suspect Zodiac is behind this, so proceed with caution. Be careful. Hi, Fox. What's up? Anyone just getting here? Welcome. Go wishlist this game. It's great. Uh, I'm gonna actually do something. I'm gonna invert things, because actually it's kind of messing with me. It's... Yeah, okay. This is... Usually these games are kind of like that, so I'm, I have to invert it. I'm, I'm starting to, like... I was like, I don't need inverted, and then I was like, wait a minute. That last time, I was getting tripped up a little bit. So I guess you want to fly under these, kind of like in Star Fox. Which, uh, I did not do. It's probably an alternate path. In fact... Let's do that. Sesame Seed, uh, activity? Yes, that's correct. It's just end Frozen Wasteland. Not sure if that is intentional. Oh, hey, you get an extra missile for that! Neat! I hope this shows up at, like, Sage or something, because this game deserves it. Okay, you don't get anything else if you do that. That's on me. Whoa! Lava! Oh shit, what is that? This is showing up in the past? I must have never played it those years. This is insane. Maybe I did play it and just forgot about it. That you know what, there's so many games in Sage, I probably forgot about it. Nice to get a little health back from the checkpoints. Neat. That's a really bad idea. Blowing up fuel reserves like that. Yeah, I'm all for that. I haven't really been using bombs, which is something that I should be doing. Oh, that's placing the crystals. Come on. Interesting. You know how I can know that this game is going to be good? If uh, we find out that the final boss of the game, who's not in the game yet, uh, if they are a hand and head boss, probably a good game. You know how it is. These video games always got these hand head bosses. Morning! Give me that turtle's phone. I don't appreciate having to surface this thing. It's freezing up here. This is fucking cool. Alright, time to use bombs. Maybe 
Just turn back while you still can. You back this. I was meaning to and I'm upset that I didn't. You know, I'd rather back a game than get a free key if I believe in it. And uh, I just didn't have the money at the time because I was trying to move. So, uh, I appreciate what the devs were nice enough to do. You guys prefer 16-bit sprites the best, really? No! Oh, oh, so close. Okay, I'm up. Regulus, anyone else just getting here, welcome. I really like the character designs, though. Chameleon Twist Boss! I love Chameleon Twist. Oof, that's a problem. That's a big problem. I just wasted a bomb. points are the same thing. I know which one you're talking about, it's just funny to hear someone be like, dude, it's the chameleon twist boss! Yo! One of those bosses, though, that does get easier as you hurt it. I just got an achievement for that. How boring. No achievement picture yet, but that's okay. Yo, Sonic Nintendo fan, what's up? The asteroid field. Yeah, it seems like there's six planets at the moment, which is what I had heard. The remains of the shattered planet Euclides. Alright, so this is a Euclidean planet, not a non-Euclidean. Activity in this region is genuinely, un uh, genuinely unheard of and may be the result of an illegal mining operation. Be on your guard. Let me know if you see anything good in the dialogue. Like, as much as I like the dialogue of uh, being like, blah, 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 I do kind of prefer when the games have, like, proper voice acting so I don't need to focus on, like, reading. I would say what would be a really cool option, and I know, I know it was probably a stylistic choice to go for this, uh, maybe this was a Kickstarter stretch goal or something they hit or didn't hit. I think it'd be really cool if they had uh, this kind of chatter for the uh, characters or like proper voice acting, because I think I'd, I'd like the voice acting just so I don't have to read. Illegal space crypto mining operation. That's what we're doing. How are you doing, Caramel? Oh, 
Oh, this looks so cool. Look at this. This is definitely my favorite set piece they've done so far. I feel like a game like this that's just an honor ill shooter, you kind of need to make some fun set pieces. Thing. Maybe. This is pretty cool, though. I like this. So, Star Fox 64 kind of does something like that. Weave right through that beautifully. If you're feeling ballsy, you could go for no checkpoints in this game, which I guess you could do in Star Fox 64. Yeah! You're too late, Q! Oh god, he throws two different shots. That was it? That was easy! What a pathetic boss! I think I just had really well placed bombs, cause damn, that boss melted. S rank! That was disgusting in a good way. A <laughs> minor foe. We really crushed that boss. Epiphos. We can't be certain why Zodiac would have any interest in the crumbling ruins of an ancient civilization. The civilization is spelled with an S now. But if it's of interest to them, then it's probably bad for us. Investigate and find out what they're up to. See, I kind of wonder if that was an intentional typo or not. Oh, this is kind of like Shantae-inspired music, do you hear that? This is probably my favorite stage so far. Whoa! Ah, oh, they got me. That's a good trap. I wonder if you could lose wings in this game. Like, if I leave them out, someone will probably eat them, but, you know, I'm kind of curious. Lonely, would you eat my wings? The garlic farm. Oh, we're so close to the checkpoint, don't die yet. Hey, it's just like Venom, going inside the pyramid. Oh, look at these turns! Whoa, this is so trippy!
Yeah, I deserve that. Losing your wing was more of a 64 thing. Yeah, but it was still cool. I know people who did uh, challenges of Star Fox 64 where they intentionally lost their wings, which makes the game a lot harder. Man, I'm having like no trouble missing all my shots today. You know, it's like they say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wing Gretzky. Michael Scott. This eyeball looks really cool. Like this thing. This isn't even a boss, this is just some kind of set piece. I'm definitely gonna have to download the soundtrack to this at some point. If they have it on sale, maybe I'll get it. Not like sale as a discount, but I mean like actually I need to buy the soundtrack. This is really good. Probably won't be able to do that though until the full game's out. Data? What's data? Something I do need to do is lock on to multiple things at once, because that is a thing you can do in this game. Farting! It's... Wormhole? Oh, it's a Moai head, of course. It's gotta be a Gradius game, you know. You are not meant to be here. Well, I got no bombs to cheese this time, so uh, we're doing it legit. to destroy this machine, the ancients left it to me. To destroy or to pilot? Probably both. Whoa! Yeah, I don't even think Radius ever went this far with them OIs. the ancients. There's the Moai battleship in Parodius. There is! Oh, Parodius. When he gets B rank? Yeah, it checks out. really is Space Harrier. Holy shit, this rules. Now, I'm one of the few people who really like Space Harrier. This is awesome. Ah, ah, that's the sound they make in Space Harrier. But uh, I am already basically dead. Years of Yakuza playing has uh, prepped me for Space Harrier challenges to randomly show it up. 
Oh, figures, I was playing Judgment earlier before the stream, and it's like, oh, time to play some Space Harrier. Because of course I have to play Space Harrier. I don't know what it is. The Americans do not like Space Harrier, but... I mean, I'm American. I, I like it. It's hard, but I, you know, I appreciate it. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. That was cool. There are many more exciting scenes coming soon. OAC 5. Detected activity both above and below the super ocean of OAC 5. No doubt Zodiac is after something of great value to them. Be careful! Yeah, it's in like every Yakuza game. Not all of them, but most of them. Hey look, it's the Guara Plains from Smash Bros. From Xenoblade. It's really him! Is this the dinosaur planet level? What? No! Why would it be the dinosaur planet level? Jetsons takes place. Yeah, under the water is where the Flintstones is, for anyone uh, who's never seen it. Data. Mr. Data. Ah, uh, Data. What a what a fun actor Brent Spiner was on Star Trek. He had no emotion, and that was his character. So whenever he had to play another character, they just hammed him up as much as they could, like intentional overacting. Maybe those towers are too low? You don't know how low the sea is. How low do you think the sea is? You think it just it hits the bottom after the water? <laughs> you don't think the Jetsons go to the beach every once in a while? Morning. Hey, it's Peppy. My dear Q, welcome. That ship of yours really is a marvel. Mind if I take a closer look? You can keep your ugly tentacles off, thanks. That this ocean is teeming with deadly life forms. Yeah, they, they sure is. But none deadlier than those that lurk in the sky. I'm loving the bosses in this game.
Uh-oh. Got him. Goodbye, Peppy. The mix of 2D hand drawn and 3D no textures is great. It really is, right? Good luck trying to get everything hit. D! Oh, I did way better than the first day. Dude, come on. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Yeah, the only other game that I've played that is not Fantasy Zone, or, or you know, oh, well, not Fantasy Zone, uh, not Space Harrier, is... Uh, if you play Wonderful 101 randomly, the game also becomes that. I'm guessing if you beat this, this is how you get your lives back. This stage is a lot more uh, doable for me now that I'm a little bit more warmed up on Space Harrier. Now, if this game has Outrun in it, then I'll know this is a Yakuza game. Oh, this is just the dragon from Space Harrier. This is just straight up the same thing, it's just a skelly now. Yeah, it seems like there's uh, one of those for each level that's hidden inside an enemy. I don't know if it's random or if it's always in one enemy, but that's really cool that you can do that. Please, ooh, welcome me back. Ooh, ooh. notices the shrum in the chat. What's this? Hello, Mr. Shrum. Hello. Please go follow Shrum. Go follow uh, Shroom F. Even better channel. <laughs> Why'd you time him out? I can't believe this. <laughs> Ooh. Timed out for being too horny. Uh, no, he's got a check mark next to his name. It's okay. Use its way in is via one of the highways that's still under construction. You'll have to leave the UV Mark III behind for this one, I'm afraid. Watch out for the heavily militarized police force. Whoa, this is cool. This is the last stage in the game at the moment. Look at that banana! It's a very different style of gameplay, and I'm totally down for that. Drum, how do you feel about Star Fox? Are, are, oh, you're still timed out. Yeah. Gotta take out the cops, the most important part. Here. What did that sign say? Did it say you are here? Because it was using that flaming font that I see all the time. So oh god, I missed the check form. Oh 
Only you can kiss my entire buttocks. Yeah, Shrum, uh, are you gonna play this? I don't know. Shrum, you gotta pick this up. Uh, I didn't even ask for a key. Like, I, I was really happy that I got this key, because I was like, oh, damn. I missed out on the Kickstarter for this. I wanted to try this one. That was not, that was not lonely, that was Adam and Archfile. Never trust an Archfile, let me tell you something. Having played enough Doom, Archfiles are the most dangerous thing. Okay, I still have the spin. Oh, you can reflect stuff with the spin. No, I didn't even get a life from doing that bonus stage. I, maybe that's for the true ending or something? Oof. The right into our lap this time, eh, Missy? Now pull that little vehicle over, eh? Always the pig cops in games. Always. It's a little hard to aim this one. Mostly just because of the way the dodge works. Oh, I think I, actually that still hit. Got it. Motorball 7, Final Fantasy 7 vibes. Yeah, I feel it. Better yet, a Terminator like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Incorrect! He wasn't that kind of Terminator. I don't remember that actor's name, but that was a different Terminator. Trump, it's like you haven't even seen Terminator 2 Judgment Day. D. All right, let's do this. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Patrick. Robert Patrick, what else was he in? Who was he in Wayne's World? Oh, yeah, that checks out, I know the scene. The shitty Double Dragon movie? Yeah. A little gross. Who was he in Spy Kids? I really want to make it to the boss. I don't think I'm going to be able to because, you know. so damaged. I wonder if you could just replay these levels once you have them unlocked. That would be so cool. Oh, I know which boss this is. Okay, I think. Never mind. I didn't have any health.
And that is where the demo basically ends. Under construction. Thanks for playing the early access release of Exodia. If you enjoyed what you've played so far, more missions are in development, so please check back soon. This was incredible. Um, if you have not seen this game, it is Exodia. It is on Steam. You should definitely wishlist it. Uh, July 21st, this is going to release. Uh, it's early access, though. So there's going to be these stages to play. And starting in, like... They're probably going to do, like, every once in a while they're doing monthly updates, but uh, they should have the game finished by 2023 or 2024 is what I saw, so I'm guessing, like, November 2023 this should be done. Uh, I definitely recommend you wishlist it. Hmm? Oh, we'll see if Oh, he was the dad in that movie. Uh, let's do the first stage again before we uh, move on. I kind of also want to see what happens if you game over. So, we'll, we'll see what happens then. So, how many of you are going to wishlist this if you haven't already? Because, like, damn! It's really good. There's even like a combo system on the top. I had to focus so I couldn't really talk about it much. If anyone wants to drop the uh, Steam page for this game, feel free to. There's the data. Okay, you already had it open. Thank you. And thank you to the uh, devs for giving me a copy, because, like, again, I didn't even ask for this. They just thought, hey, this is a game I'd really like, and uh, I don't do sponsor games like this unless it's something that I'm genuinely interested in. Like, I really have to be interested in a game. I will happily play it, though, if, if it piques my interest like this. I should have slowed down there. The Egypt level was definitely my favorite. Uh, chat, what about you? Out of the six levels, uh, which one would you say was your favorite? Now's a good time to say, uh, hey, if you like this, did you know that Star Fox 64 is on the poll right now? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's on there. Uh, recently we just did Sonic Advance 3, so if you think Sonic Advance uh, 3 was over too fast, uh, don't worry. Star Fox 64, if it wins the poll, we'll be doing every route. We'll do easy, medium, hard. Egypt or Asteroids? I think the Asteroids had the best set piece with the spinny part, but this is really cool. So, uh, if you haven't, uh, it's exclamation point poll to vote on what game is going to be played next. Definitely suggest you vote for Star Fox 64 after playing this. All the more reason to. You don't have to. Vote for whatever you want. Terra Enigma keeps trying to push for it every time, and everyone's like, no, Terra Enigma!
I can't imagine Mooch uh, voting for anything other than Star Fox 64. Mooch has won my uh, Community Night poll, well, raffle twice and picked Star Fox. So I wonder what you're voting for, Mooch. Hmm. Also, are you getting this game, Mooch? This game has Banui. We, we murdered Banui earlier. Mother fucking Banui. E. We're boneless. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. I'll see if I can find like one or two more. And I want to see what the game over is like. Toy Story 2 is leading right now. Excellent choice. It's early though, it's hard to say. Yeah, we're gonna do the Dreamcast Toy Story. Probably do that in one stream. Uh, first things first, we do have to go through one other game. I always like to go back and forth between something that I pick and then something that you guys pick to give you more time to vote. So, uh, if you are curious, the next game we're going to be playing on Tuesday, we're going to be starting Psychonauts. It's a summer game. I decided to wait for the summer. We're going to do Psychonauts 1. I think it's going to be a good idea. We'll, we'll go through that. And then uh, next month we'll do Psychonauts 2, which is also very good and even better. So get your votes in. Also, uh, play Space Harrier. I like it, even if other people don't. Ah, yeah, that's just straight up the dragon. There he is. I wonder if the Woolly Mammoth is in this game from Space Harrier, because that's like one of the most iconic things. Even though it's only in like the fourth or fifth level, it's on the arcade cabinet, so... Like, I would have waited, we just play the Space Harrier levels, kind of, because I wasn't really expecting Space Harrier, but kind of, really good. Think that's 2 is getting a physical release. Yep. Yeah. We can see the credits, find my name in the credits, and see how they didn't capitalize it, and then laugh. You know, if I backed this game, I bet you they would have used my uh, actual name and capitalized it, unlike Psychonauts 2. Yo, Jacob, what's up? There's some good ones in there. Yeah, if you're subbed, be, be sure to suggest a game. Uh, I kind of want to find the other chips, so... Uh, we know where Fours was, we saw that one. I'm sure you get something if you get all these. And, like, I, I kind of want to move on, but I also kind of want to find these chips. Did you back Psychonauts 2? Yeah, my, I'm under the credits with my actual name, and... Uh, it's just uncapitalized that I was like, I can't fucking believe this! How did you not capitalize my name? Yeah, Psychonauts 2, everyone told me I was a fool for backing, and I got in early, which is why I did it, and uh, I loved it. Very happy with my purchase. To give you an idea, chat, I think I backed Psychonauts 2, and then streamed Psychonauts 1 the day that I backed it. I was like, hey, we did, we did all the games, well, like all the worlds and stuff, 100%. Something around there. I think that enemy had the, uh, the data. Going to get math is hard in Psychonauts 1. What was math is hard? Was that, um... I don't remember what that was. 101%? No. I don't really think I need it.
There it is. I call it what's up. Also, Le Boop. Le Boop indeed. Le thank you for the sub. Uh, be sure to get your game on there, Mooch. If you ha don't have one already. You might be able to get two, I always forget. Uh, yeah, check if it's on there already. Uh, check the archive if you must. You can check there. Uh, if I've already streamed it and it's in the archive, I, I'm not doing it again. And if it's absolute dog shit and I don't want to play it, I will let you know. I don't know why I crashed into the floor like that. That was dumb. I think this is the hardest boss. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like this one was the hardest for some reason. Psychonauts 2 was just so good, and it blew away, I think, every expectation that everyone had from Tim, don't back Tim Schafer, you know? Honestly, if you believe in a project enough, don't be afraid to back it on Kickstarter, just know, you know, you gotta be careful sometimes, because you never know when the, uh, the uh, you're gonna get, what, what is that one game, Jake, you backed, uh, Star Citizen, it's never coming out? I believe in this game though, like obviously they're letting you play the early access, it looks really good, it plays really good, I, I honestly really wanted to back this. Yeah, it's probably my number 9. Hey. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone! That's, that's my favorite thing about, about that game. Every single time you play, you just- the, the guy going, ah! And the bit crush is just so funny to me. It's like Duke Nukem, when you take away the bit crush and you, you have crisp, smooth Duke, it's not the same as, as Crunchy Duke. I gotta get my Dukey Crunchy. Once again, uh, shout out to the developers, and shout out to Pixel Jam. Really cool of them to give me keys. Well, key. They didn't give me multiple keys, but you know what I mean. Like, they didn't have to do that at all. I, I will always do a sponsorship if you're listening, if it's for something I'm genuinely interested in. Please, stop sending me Raid Shadow Lich. I, it's into the 50s, the amount of times I've said no. Egg. Organize this boss from uh, base area. Yeah, my favorite thing is uh, the Anton Blast and Pizza Tower fighting. People are fighting about it, and it's like, which game is the better game? And then it, it's like one of the developers drew. Um, Anton and Peppino just making out with each other, like disgustingly making out using like a lot of tongues. And it was just hilarious because it was just like, yeah, no, that's how much we love each other. That we support each other's games. They're different. Yo, Game Master Anthony, what's up? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try the last stage if we can find, uh, we'll find the Space Harrier stage and then I'll, I'll try and kill myself and see what happens if you game over. Didn't back my number nine. Ah! Let me see. 
Which game was it that was really bad that you backed? Oh, you already posted it? Okay, hold on. This is a game that's hard to read chat. Soul Saga is supposed to be a PS1 Dreamcast RPG, but I'll take some beta access, went to Patreon and went Patreon exclusive. Oh, I think I've heard about that. Yeah. No, take note, developer who's watching the stream. And also, again, if it is a game that I am genuinely interested in, I will happily show the game off on stream. No, no Raid Shadow Legends ever, please. Disclaimer. Stop sending me Raid Shadow Legends sponsors, I will never take it. I told them that. I'm like, I'm never gonna take this. Stop sending me Raid Shadow Legends. But we think you might like Raid Shadow Legends. Have you tried Raid Shadow Legends? It's only one of the most popular games. This is still the coolest part to me. I can't wait to see what else they do. Uh, when this gets finished, I would happily stream this again. I don't feel like it's exciting to only stream one level every time that, you know, the game gets an update. Didn't find the data. Super big scene running at normal speed. Yeah, isn't it cool? Alright, well, I'm gonna let this boss kill me. Easiest boss in the game. Uh, you just yeet a bomb into it and it blows it up. But uh, I wanna see what happens if you game over and if zero counts as a life. Sometimes uh, you game over in a game, something cool happens. Oh, I didn't get to see that earlier. This guy is really bad at doing damage to me. Here, I'll make it easier for you. You damn dirty apes. I can't believe this boss really just said I hate every ape I see from chimpanzee to chimpanzee. Wayward Manor, you had a maid of yours back it because it was being written by Neil Gaiman. He ended up sinking like $250 into it when I asked him about it. He just said, I don't want to talk about it. Ooh. He only loves uh, Neil Gaiman. I, I've never even heard of this game, so... Must be the fault in our stars. That was him, right? Please, this Joe cast to work? Is that him? That's not him, was it? I said the fault in our stars, is that not him? I don't know who that is. I thought it was Neil Gaiman. 
All right, let's see what happens when you game over. Oh, that's a pretty cool game over screen. I like that. That was worth seeing. Among Us? Oh no, Among Other Things. Okay, all right, that's not as cool. He's writing the Among Us novel. So that was Exodiac. Do I recommend it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Once again, go wishlist this. Uh, thank you to the dev. Thank you to Pixel Jam. Please go check it out. Go wishlist this. This comes out on the 21st for early access. You can play these six stages. And uh, game should be finished around 2023 to 2024. Definitely gonna play more of this whenever it gets finished. But that'll be like a year from now that we uh, come back to this game. Maybe two years. For now, though, let's just uh, relax and uh, enjoy some dumb FMV, because we're about to jump into FMV night. <laughs> 